pointing. Ooh, nice wreck. Nice wreck. Ouch. Straight forward, I'd have to run over a gasoline zombie, which is going to go boom and spew fuel all over me and set me on fire. Why would that be hilarious? And I'd have to curve down. That is a decent way out. Can't I, I can't afford to try to back up, I don't think. Right, we'll make plans when we get there. All right, so we're back to 84 speed. So we're still moving slow. Please don't shock again before I get to the vehicle. All right. For once, <laughs> we are in the vehicle. Let's see. Do I back up? I guess I could go in reverse to here and then come out this way. I'm really not liking the looks of this path. But I could get blocked up there also. As long as the windows are intact, they can't shock me. As soon as the window gets broke, uh, or they get a line of sight when I go diagonal, then I can get shocked. But as long as everything is intact up here, they don't technically have the ability to shoot me. Just like they can't shoot shock zaps through a chain link fence. Okay, let's uh, let's not do that. <laughs> Forgot to turn the car on first. Uh-oh. Hey there, tough zombie. Please don't keep me from moving in reverse, because that'd be rude. Damn it. It's hitting that car. All right. Uh, slow down a bit. Just need to get the front end aiming this direction, so we're gonna start turning. Go forward, please. Forward fast. There go the wing mirrors. <laughs> Ripped them off instantly. And tow truck. All right, we're out. We escaped. No bites, no bleeds. It's a little more what I was kind of expecting. The Kevlar Hulk was a surprise, but at least, uh, like I said, it was mostly having enemies in the vehicle that were causing a problem. Okay, now what? Now we go south to the evac shelter and hope it's far enough from this <laughs> that I can get a first aid kit. What else? We'll probably do a little bit of driving to get some mapping done before I make a decision on coming back. This place has only got the one library. We got a pretty good approach to it because I can use the houses here as an approach and then hop into the library. So I'll probably park out like right here in the dark and then we'll try to make a run in. But as you saw with the hyper-evolved zombies, I have to pay, play really, really careful with how to approach cities because they have all the nasty zombies already. Which are fun. They're interesting. I love having the new the uh, the big zombies. Ah, acid ants. But um, it makes cities just a nightmare, especially when you have a non-combat, non-movement specializing uh, character. We're just a book nerd. We're a trucker book nerd. Around. <clears throat> All right. First things first, though. Let's uh, let's head on down to that evac shelter. Okay, unfortunately it is uh, one of the looted variety. I have not much in the way of carry capacity. First aid kit, please. First aid kit. Oh, only three items. Bandages and medical gauze. We need those, so we'll take it. Into my pants, please. 
Insert that and that. And nothing. Alright, so we got a few bandages. Nothing else. Now I have to decide, do I want to make any basic tools? They gave me a stick. Alright, nothing else in sight. Hmm. This is what, the pump, pump station? Pump station. So, for opportunities, there's a potential up here. We got a couple of fairly isolated houses. Depending on Zombie Pop, we might be able to get some gear out of there. Same thing here. If I head back up, we might be able to sneak up and get into the houses. The blue dot, uh, that is usually what a, a, a pond or... In the forest, the blue one is a, not a sinkhole, it's a, I forget the name of it, but yeah, it's, it's some form of small water. <clears throat> basin, that's the word, the basin. Hmm. Wrecked shelter is going to have no curtains, so we'll have no strings. I think I'm not going to worry about that. So, we have the multi-tool. It's got the basic tool qualities for some early stuff we might need to do. That's helpful. We've got a cell phone. Not much else. The vehicle's in good shape. we got plenty of gas, battery, perfect condition other than whatever nicks and dents we put in it getting out, and we just lost our wing mirrors. That's no big deal. Oh, almost lost the headlight. But otherwise, it's in really good shape. So we can try to take advantage of it. We can use it as a zombie smasher until it disintegrates. Um, I'm going to go check the parking lot out here. They changed it so that uh, the cars and the, the vehicles inside the uh, Transcoast Logistics parking lot are not pristine condition any longer but I don't know if there's much of a zombie population in there we might be able to get some free stuff out of vehicles so let's go check well nope there's zombies <laughs> gasoline zombies smoker zombies bloom boomers bat wings all right so pretty good zombie population I can't see any vehicles All right, let's um, let's go south for a little bit. Let's do a little bit of uh, reconnoitering of our local area. See what our options are. Maybe we'll get a soldier body site. I can run over a few soldiers with a semi and grab up some guns. That would uh, help us out quite a bit. Probably the smartest thing I could do is just drive around looking for a soldier body site. <laughs> uh, this is the farmhouse with the barn, and the barn is going to be a nightmare. I'm going to park here and hope we can get to the barn. I always got to remember just how loud this uh, semi is. This could be the death of me because the barn here is chock full of zombies and they're going to be ev highly evolved zombies. So if the wrong thing spots me, Predator or any of the fast movers, I could get caught before I get back to my vehicle. But usually there's some pretty good loot in the house here for day one type of starting loot. Hey, look at that. Sort by category, please. We got a whistle. I always like a whistle. Sneakers! Hip flask. I do want a pillow. <laughs> Mossberg 500 with six shots. Hiking boots. More bandages. Oh, I'm just moving things around. <laughs> I didn't have it in my inventory. Never mind. My bad. Give me the whistle. Give me the bandages. Had it set to the wrong option. 
Um, I really would like both the hiking boots. Do do thirty warmth, ninety five percent, six foot encumbrance. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the hiking boots. Let's ditch the steel toed boots. Take the Mossberg and wield it. And then we got fitted combat boots. 100% coverage with even better protection, but 15 foot encumbrance. I'm going to stick with the hiking boots. I'd rather have 6 encumbrance than 15, even though this has better uh, protection. I'd like to take them just in case I want to switch, but I don't have, uh, I don't have space. Antiseptic, that's a great find. Excited about that. Pork and beans. Bacon. I'd like to grab a few of these other things, but we're going to have to come back, and I'm worried about what's going to break out of that barn. Narrow spectrum antibiotics. That's surprising. We'll take the canteen. I can't wear the uh, get rid of the baseball cap wear the motorcycle helmet activate the motorcycle helmet to raise the visor yeah I'd like to go through and grab a few more items quilt is only five Sure. Uh, where the quilt? <laughs> that looks kind of funny. All right, so uh, get rid of the food. To go grab the pillow so we have a nice comfy sleeping spot the quilt was the only really important thing i actually haven't tried sleeping in a quilt i really hope it uh, moderates my temperature i don't remember the last time i slept with a quilt i'm assuming it acts like a regular blanket uh let's leave the shotgun as well we'll leave that up front keep my hands free all right do we go back for a second dose uh-oh brainless zombie they're out of the barn I love how he's coming. He's brainless, but he's coming right at the building. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, brainless zombie that's making a beeline for me from 30 spaces away. What's up with that nonsense? That is some bull crap. Hmm. That is some bull crap. Yes. Walk right along the fence line, please. No, come on. Get, get on the <laughs> get on the fence, damn it. Um Whoa! <laughs> That's hilarious. Ah, spinner zombie! Now I'm in trouble. Now I'm in trouble. Run mode. <laughs> Get out of here. All right. Yeah, yeah. I was pressing my luck with that second trip. <laughs> I knew it was dangerous. Let's drive over there and see what else is coming out of that barn. There they are. There they are. I knew they'd arrive pretty soon. <laughs> We got uh, we got snappers, which are one of the highest evolutions. We got a dissoluted devourer, a couple of acid types, a shady zombie, SWAT zombie. Good times. That is 
RV? Oh, the mobile meth lab. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the mobile meth lab. All right, let's, let's keep going south for a bit more. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, so if you're picking up items from a container on the ground, yes, the way I just did it, or I did it earlier, is the way I prefer to do it. Open it, it's just, I pick a container, I again, and then as long as you're standing on it, it really, really helps when you're just trying to loot items out of wallets and, uh, uh, first aid kits and IFACs and so on, because it lets you pick the specific items that you actually want directly out of those containers into the inventory you specifically set without having to pick up anything else. You don't have to pick the whole kit up, you don't have to unload it, then sort out what you want and drop all the random crap you didn't care about. So I find it very, very helpful. Just a quick I, pick I, and then just select as normal and go about your business. And it just saves a bunch of key presses and a bunch of hassle. hoping to find uh, some other useful locations down here. I'm not going to keep following that for now. Right now we're in just grab, do opportunity looting to uh, grab the basics that we need. Then we can start making some longer range plans. Uh, is this a mine? It's the parking lot to something. That's the mine, right? Yep, that's the mine. So, some vehicles, some zombies, and there's going to be a million miners. There could be tools in the uh, the, the workshop area. We can get a, a good look. What do you got in there? A tire iron and a plastic sheet. Well, that doesn't inspire confidence. All right, we're going to ignore the mine. There we go. That's what we need. We found it. We found it. And there's Migos. M4A1, M4A1, M4A1. No M249s. <laughs> Problem here is there's so many uh, Migos and Migos scouts. Uh, I'm not sure the zombies are going to win. <laughs> huh. I need that guy to go over here. I can then drive up and at least grab one M4. All right, let's let's do the magical uh, magical bullet check, long range bullet check. So that one has 27 out of 30. We're counting the bullets in the magazine from long range. <laughs> let's see how long that lasts. Whoops. The second one has got uh, 1 out of 30, and the third one's got 28 out of 30. So that's a pretty good number for three M4s, two almost full clips. And then the zombies should have at least a grenade or two, which we would also find tremendously helpful. Um, do I let them fight it out first, though? And I don't want to pull the guys that were south up into that. Yeah, I don't want these guys to go join that scrum. So let's drive south for a second. Get these guys going a different direction, and then we'll circle around. And we'll kind of keep an eye on this fight. Alright, what's it looking like? Scout's still in good shape. That scout is fleeing, and the Migo's fighting, but he's going to end up fleeing pretty quick also. That's going to pull the soldiers all over the place. Do I go grab a gun now before... So they're all getting split up. Unfortunately that guy, I wish he had ran north because he's going to go down to where the miners are. It's going to be hard for me to get rid of these guys. If I can get both rifles, I can use the ammo to try to kill some of the soldiers or other gear. Or I can use the vehicle to run them over, depending on circumstances. I think they're distracted enough. I should be able to get in and at least get this first first gun. I just have to make sure I'm not... Whoa! You're going the wrong direction, you bastard. 
He's coming right at me all of a sudden. <laughs> that is not what I needed to have happen. Uh-oh. They left him alone and all ganged up on the other Mego. I don't think I'm going to get any of the guns before... Plus, I have to worry about that Mego scout shoot me in the face now that I'm closer than anything else. So that's annoying. Zombies are now running east or running west. Hmm. Yeah, beepers can be removed. I'm not sure if the tool set I have will let me do it. It might. I haven't removed one in so long and I haven't paid attention to what it requires to do it that I'm not sure. I've got enough mechanic skill, I'm sure. Alright, let's cycle up this way. What I don't want to do is run over any of the uh, the guns, <laughs> especially the ones with ammo. Hmm. So that soldier's heavily wounded. We can run him over pretty easy. The acids, the caustic soldier, can shoot me through the window, which is really annoying. Go for the gun or use the vehicle as a ram. I think I'm going to use the vehicle. That should have been a couple of them. Caustic soldiers dead. We're up to four M4s, aren't we? Uh, let's see. Strength gas mask is good. MRE is eh. I don't want to deal with the miners yet, though. We'll have to circle around and keep an eye on things. I'm going to be doing a lot of moving around and trying to loot. What you got? Gas mask. Um, I really need a molly pack. Nifty. So I talked earlier about a new change that's been made. Containers. See how it's got all this food listed here? 
And when I highlight the MRE bag, it's showing the items. So we got the wrappers, and then we've got the items inside the wrappers. Now you can use, you can highlight the container, and you can use greater than or less than, the, the stair movement keys, to switch it to a hidden mode. So there are four items, but I've toggled it to be hidden, so it's not cluttering up my inventory. I can unhide it, and now it's back to showing everything. So there you go. That's, that's the purpose. You can do the same thing with like a backpack. You can toggle it to hidden if you don't want to look at all the items you've got in it. So it keeps your inventory a little cleaner. So take advantage of it. All right, what else? Hey, zombie miner. I didn't realize you got that close to me. Molly pack. I'll take it, even though it's filthy. Damn miners. I wish they hadn't gotten out of the, uh, the area. Okay. Hey, Lamartus. Thanks very much for the tier one sub. See, we're getting some pretty good progress on that goal. Alright, what else have we got? Did I loot this one? I did not. <laughs> A knife and some more MREs. Uh, that's not critical. Nothing immediately critical there either. soldiers. Oh, number two, and number three, four, and five. Need to get the miners a little further away. bad <laughs> see if we can get the my, the soldiers and the uh, the Migo with this one uh, silence your nightmares completed <laughs> did I get both soldiers though I missed my wing mirrors I think I did no I did not I think the area is fairly clear over here. Okay, what do we got? Give me something fun, like a uh, night vision, light amp goggles, or infrared. Um, I guess we need at least one of those. Comes the whole passel of miners, damn it. <laughs> what are they running to? They're not coming right at me. Eh, that's not helpful. Hey guys, follow me. Run you north a bit.
Whoops. Well, hi guys. <laughs> That's annoying. Eight? We're on like twelve. You're talking about how many characters? <laughs> Let me back to grab my my soldier man gear. Is that the one I looted? Uh, if not, I don't care because it's got nothing useful. An IFAC and hemostatic, we need that. All right, so we got to go up that way. Better at Molly Pack. Wow, we're really not getting much out of the corpses. So that's this group. Don't care. go through and seal all of those MREs just to keep them from showing so many items. And the wallet. Yeah, it gets ridiculous when you pick up a bunch of MRE packs and IFACs and so Vormit on. Vormit Hulk. Hey, nice roll. Vormit Hulk back at ya. Yeah, that is so annoying. Um, close it. Close it. Close it. <laughs> close it. Close it. Deal with the you stuff later. Hey, nice roll. Thanks for dropping some gift subs. Waxy? You let Waxy have one? What were you thinking? <laughs> have some uh, limited edition zombie dogs as a thank you. <laughs> uh, we'll just take the uh, magazine from that one. Fast enough. Again. Here's the one we want. I think that's the other one that we want, right? Yep, I need that one there as well. So, we'll drive slowly back. Well, that was kind of rude. <laughs> that was terribly rude. Now I have a hole in the front. Bad guys can get in.
Yeah, I really regret letting the miners come up to my vehicle. Or come out of the, uh, the camp. Let's go uh, around and around. Hopefully I've drawn them far enough. I got one more gun I need to pick up. Don't care a whole lot about this stuff. Damn it, right into another batch of miners. Um... Whoops. Could drive right over it and scoop it. That's pretty cheesy. I haven't done that in a while. Let's uh let's feel the cheese. Where are you at? Nope. Really? You should, you should be right below me. <laughs> Not there either. Oh, there it is. So it's in that position. I want it to be in that position. Scoop it through the floorboards. That's <laughs> so cheesy. Oh, fun with guns. Welding goggles. Hmm. I think we might have everything now that I actually care about. I've lost track of where else I killed things. There's like an MRE or something down there, but food's never really a problem. I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, mining helmet. I actually kind of would like a mining helmet. Mining helmet there. Welding goggles in the same spot. Hmm. Come on, zombies. <clears throat> Whoa! What the hell? What the hell? Where'd you come from? Hmm. That was kind of weird. <laughs> Honeydew. Honeydew. Not sure I'm going to be able to get back to that spot where the things I want are located. Up there. That the one. There's the mining helmet and the goggles. All right, that's the one I want. But there's a uh, black a hunter killer zombie right next to it. Still nothing fun. Oh well. Another eye fact, but we'll get along. I don't want to keep dancing with all these stupid miners. And once again, they're all crowding back over top of the spot I'm trying to get to. <laughs> hey, get over here, you stupid zombies. Get away from that spot. They just instantly lose interest. But damn the sound system. <laughs> we don't care. We're going to drive. We're going to walk wherever we want to walk. I think I drove over top of it. There we go. Goggles. Mining helmet. Vehicle's looking a little rough. We did some damage. <laughs> Hopefully it was worth it. Alright, let's get out of here. Ego Scout still hanging about. <laughs> Miners all the way up here. They've been traveling. I 
All right, we'll find a saw. Uh, whoa, crates. Just what I needed. More army winter gear and MREs. <laughs> I don't have a hammer. Um, I'll have to mark the location and come back. I can go make a crowbar real quick at the evac shelter. Zombie to the north. Need something to smash with. Um, none of the doors are broke. There was a stick up top. That's not where we go. Come here, stick. Yeah, give me the chunks of steel. Scrap metal. Okay, we have a uh, pry bar. Now we can go open those things up. We'll save that for now. I'm not going to worry about doing anything else. Eh, I guess. Eh, what the hell. While we're here. While I've got these parts available. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, I dropped this chunks of steel in the vehicle. <laughs> I forgot. And we don't have the uh, the thread here either. Because there's no, no curtains. Alright, we'll wait on that. Don't worry about it. Let's go see how many mini nukes we get out of the uh, airdrop crates. Damn you, zombie. I don't want to deal with you. And more zombies. So, RX-11 stimulant delivery system with four out of five stimulant modules. That's pretty cool. Tactical dump pouch, combat boots, and the zombies here again. Kevlar zombie, soldier zombies. I missed some. All right, let's get these real quick, and then we'll go straight south, try to kill those guys, get some more loot, hopefully. Grenades! 
Eh, that's more useful than I usually get. Pretty good assortment. Do we keep smashing with the vehicle, though? What kind of damage are you guys looking like? Whoa! Holy crap, this is a different body site. <laughs> I thought this was leftovers. This is not leftovers. This is more stuff. Still no M2. Oh, there. Oh, that's a shotgun. What are you, big guy? Oh, the dispatch. Oh, crap. <laughs> that's not good. Luckily, the uh, soldiers are all focused on it currently. Four, twenty-six, and twelve rounds of ammo. Seven out of eight shots in the shotgun. I'm worried about hitting, uh, using the vehicle anymore, but this is too many for my available ammo supply. Uh, and they are lining up for me, though. That Migo scout's gonna take off running and draw some of these away. I don't want to ram the uh, the dispatch. The soldiers will eventually get him down. care about solar cells. Solar cells are useless. The world is full of storage batteries with 40,000 units of power just sitting there waiting for anybody to come pick them up and put them in their vehicle. Who cares about solar when you can just keep driving and keep slapping in more super storage batteries? I haven't bothered with solar in a long time. I'll throw it on occasionally just to show other people how it how to do it, but I, I could care less about solar. It's made totally irrelevant by the overwhelming abundance of storage batteries you stumble across. Um, I don't know. We're looking a little grim on the front end of the vehicle, finally. I'm gonna stop moving. Oh, there he goes. He's he's off and running. Um, the dispatch is barely taking any damage. There's the dispatch going down. All right, dispatch. Oops, still not down. Now the dispatch is down. Alright, let's do one last kamikaze. Please don't break my vehicle. I think we lost at least a headlight. <laughs> Among a few... Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's looking pretty grim. <laughs> I really don't want to lose my vehicle, but... Zombie Soldier dies times three. That was a good hit. The area is pretty clear. Ouch. No, we uh, the battery took so much damage, it's draining. Well, that's a problem. That is a problem. I gotta get a new battery in before that thing drains out completely. Uh, what do we got? So, the weapons I know about. We got a lot of grenade hacks. I'm not going to worry about any of that stuff. I was hoping to get a really lucky infrared goggle or night vision. That would just help me so much. Unfortunately, we did not. Wow, that's a terrible list of gear. That is a terrible list. Take the lighter.
I'm, uh, yeah, that wasn't worth it. <laughs> that was not worth the damage to the vehicle. I gotta drop the crowbar. I picked up so many MRE packages. Close it, close it, close it, close it. We've sacrificed a fair amount of our vehicle condition. Oh, 8%. Crap. <laughs> Draining faster than I thought it was going to. Uh, I gotta get to a vehicle. I gotta get a battery. So, ignore all these things. Just need to get to a road and a batter or a vehicle with a battery. We can swap out. Another Mego Scout. Uh-oh. There's a tablet PC. It's a lab site. One wallet. we well, got to go back for it, but not right at the moment. Let's go find vehicle. I just want a wayward vehicle on the road. It's got any kind of charge in it. On an undamaged battery. Come on, just just one car. That's the silo that's the uh, same height as a radio tower. There's also bad guys sometimes here, no vehicles. Come on, game. <laughs> Give me a vehicle. These roads are bare. There. Ah, another semi. <laughs> well, that would be kind of kind of nifty. Get the wing mirrors put back on. Let go of the controls got gas it's got a solid battery perfect this will do uh, I don't have a rubber hose to siphon the gas but we can grab the battery at least that solves my immediate problem oh we just put it right there 
Okay, now we're at least not going to just completely stop moving. Inboard mirrors installed, and uh, it's what, 20 liters of diesel? Alright, we'll remember where it's at. We're still fine on fuel, so not critical. Um, nothing but a trailhead. What else do I need to do? Should probably toss some of these extra weapons I'm not going to use. Does the eat menu still show everything? Apparently it does. Well, that's nifty. Cool. I don't mind this menu being pretty long, as long as I don't have to look at it when my carry inventory, so it's actually listing all the stuff inside all those MREs. So that'll do. I like it. Let's have some bacon. Bacon and a cookie as a reward. <laughs> lost conduct vegan. Lost conduct vegetarian. I've lost so many conducts. Okay. Hey there, Arden Drub. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's got to get in here and kill these zombies. Might as well be me. Is there any specific reason why you were not putting on an armored vest? Well, they're all dirty, which is bad. That'll get you, uh... Uh, infections <laughs> if you're getting hit while you're wearing dirty gear and the Isapi vest is a big dumb piece of crap that uh, nobody should be wearing at least without removing the, uh, the the metal plates Nothing in the cab, nothing in the rear. All right. So I think we're just going to stop here and let the pain subside a bit. I don't think I got any painkillers. I did not. We have no painkillers. Yeah, let's, uh, let's just stop and wait here for a little bit. All right, down to mild pain. 7% loss of speed. That at least I can deal with. All right, we're in pretty good shape. Minor hit point damage. Uh, the vehicle is still operational. I got to stop using it as a ram. We got some guns. We don't have a ton of uh, ammo, but it's enough to at least get me out of some situations. I think I'm going to keep driving around. Let's go down this way, check this out, and then I'm going to reverse and come check these others out. I don't want to drift too far from the town quite yet. We're still on the hunt for just basic things that we need. Wasp! <laughs> Gotta hate those wasps. And it's a radio tower with wasps. What a surprise. Okay, let's get out of here before our 38 noise engine gets me inundated with wasps. How did we get rid of the infection? Through the magic of changing scenarios. <laughs> That's how. I mentioned at the end of Friday's run that I was probably going to rejigger the uh, the challenge, and uh, by rejigger I meant get rid of the infection start because the world settings and the infection start and us constantly dying to the infection even when we have antibiotics is just I'm getting I'm tired of it. So the infection challenge wasn't really what I was trying to get to with this particular theme anyway. So we switched it to the surrounded start and then died a bunch of times again. So it was great. It was great. <laughs> I traded dying a bunch for uh, dying a bunch. Hence, Barney the 12th. 